Hello everybody. So finally getting to this lime plaster video and it's actually going to be a two-part video. So today I'm going to be talking about the render coat, the first coat, and just explain to you guys what lime plaster is and how we applied it and what my thoughts are on it. So um, if you haven't tuned in before, um, there are other previous videos that discuss the process of making the earth bag structure and you can like and subscribe and see all those old videos. So first thing we're going to talk about is safety. Um, I will tell you that this stuff is caustic in its raw form and it has a very high pH which means that it can burn your skin. And my wife was the most prepared of us all. She is a research scientist so she actually is one of those people that when she does stuff she tends to do a lot of research and doesn't get into anything without knowing what she's getting into. So she was very prepared so the irony of it is is that i was not as prepared and she actually is the one that got the chemical burn as you're going to see here um, what happened was she was wearing the long sleeves and the stuff started dripping into her sleeves and she just kept working through it and she felt pain and then later on she saw that there was a burn on her arm so you got to be very careful with this stuff and i don't want to scare you guys away from it because it's actually pretty safe once it once it cures and everything but it, it will burn your skin if you're not careful so so let's talk about what lime plaster is or what lime is lime that you get in the store like home depot is actually calcium hydroxide and what they do is they take like limestone and even shells and they heat it up and really hot and then once they're done they add water to it and that's called slaked lime and basically it makes it a little more stable and so they have it in a powder powdered form you can find it in the cement area at your big box stores uh, like home depot or lowe's and it comes in bags like this um, i'm not going to go further into it but basically that's what the stuff is and then you mix this stuff with water and or sand and you can make a putty or you can make a mortar out of it. So basically the first step is to mix it with water. And the reason you wanna mix it with water first is because I actually tried mixing it a couple different ways. And what I found was that when I would mix it, say sand, then water, then lime, the mix would turn out okay, but I would get little clumps of powder in there and it wouldn't mix very well. And some people even suggest to let the stuff soak overnight or for a few days. Um, I did not do that and I didn't find that I had to as long as I mixed it with water first. So you're gonna see in the next video here early on, I tried mixing it a few different ways and I found this to work best. So if you mix the lime with water first, you make a real slurry mix and then you add the sand to it, you'll be okay. Now, we did try mixing it with the cement mixer and the cement mixer works well with the uh, render coat. So what you're looking at here, this is the sand I use. This is wash sand and it has little chunks of aggregate in there so it's it's kind of a chunkier mix it's not the fine sand and this is for the render coat for the rough like a scratch coat basically and mix lots of water in with with it um the ratios that we went with were three parts sand 1.25 parts lime some people go with one part lime we went with 1.25 and two parts water but the water actually depended on how damp the sand was and the mixture you want to come up with is basically something that is wet enough to where you can work with it and it can stick to the walls but not too wet to where it'll fall off the walls and you'll find this out real quick when you start working with it so you can mess around with the water ratios and it's really important that you keep the walls wet and you keep this stuff wet because lime actually cures through a process of carbonation and this carbonation depends on water for it to work so it's not really curing like cement would cure 
it's actually carbonating and that's how lime hardens so it's very important to know this because it's it's different and the water you have water but it's for a different reason so when you wet the walls you basically are trying to make sure that the water does not get wicked out of the lime mortar or render that you're putting on the walls so that's how this stuff works and the way my wife liked to put it on is for the first coat on earth bags is she actually would throw it against the walls like so and she would just throw it in there in the the different cracks and the crevices and then she would smooth it out with her hands i don't like that method for me because it gets all over the place but i uh, you know a lot of people do it that way i've watched videos and you know it seems to work for them but then you do what she's doing and then afterwards you just smooth it over and you press down on it with your hands to get it on there and like i said though all these bags were wet prior to to uh, putting the stuff on as well as it being wet and then I damped it down after that so kept it wet for at least a few days and it will cure nice and hard so here she's doing the process of smoothing it over after she threw it on and then this is what the walls would look like once they harden a little bit and then at this point you just simply keep dampening it and you're gonna see little cracks form in it they're shrinkage cracks and then what i would do is just damp it with water and just run over with my hands and try to smooth it out as best as i could and from there you just let it do its thing and i'm gonna leave off on this video and then on the second video i'm gonna talk about the final coat we put on where we use different ratios and as well as the lime wash so hope you guys like this video please like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll be coming back with lime plaster part two